U.S. unemployment dropped last month to the lowest level in more than four years, but employers created fewer jobs than analysts had expected. Leaders at the Federal Reserve will likely take those numbers into account when they decide whether to scale back their stimulus measures. They're due to meet the week after next. Labor Department officials say unemployment stood at 7.3 percent. The rate was down one-tenth of a point from the month before and the lowest since December 2008. Employers added 169,000 non-farm jobs. Analysts had been expecting 180,000. Businesses created jobs in retail, food and beverage services, and health care. They reduced their payrolls in information technology and real estate. Analysts are poring over the data trying to figure out when Fed leaders might taper their stimulus program. Some think the employment data are strong enough to make tapering likely in the coming weeks. Here's a view from Sam Coffin at UBS. So yes, this was a softer payrolls report for August uh, than, than most had expected. Not only because August private payrolls were, were softer, uh, but also because of downward revisions to prior months. So if you look at the last, at, at the third quarter to date so far, we're looking at private payroll gains of around 135,000 a month so far in Q3 versus payroll increases of around 190,000 per month in Q2. So there's been some, 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 uh, some slowing from the second quarter to the third quarter, and that, that gives some reason for pause. However, the other elements of the August payroll report were a lot better. First of all, you did see some acceleration in payrolls from July to August. Second of all, uh, aggregate hours picked up, so the, the, the work week rose uh, from, from the prior month. And third of all, average hourly earnings picked up two-tenths of a percent. Uh, we haven't seen 2.2 percent year-on-year average hourly earnings growth for quite some time. What that means is that the implications for spending aren't nearly as dire as that softer uh, headline payrolls number would suggest. Income growth is a lot better than those payrolls number would suggest. And, and corroborating that, we also saw the unemployment rate come down another tenth to 7.3% from 7.4 percent. So I think I wouldn't overreact to the softness in payrolls in, in August alone or in July alone. And it, I think it continues the choppy pattern that we've seen in some data. We've seen some pretty soft durable goods numbers. We saw some pretty soft new home sales numbers, but we saw the flip side on existing home sales. And we certainly have seen consumer confidence moving up. And I think that should continue to support consumer spending at a time when, indeed, even with this payroll report, uh, household incomes are moving up decently. So what does this mean for the Fed? Uh, for the Fed, I think it, it does continue the, the pattern of somewhat choppy data, but also uh, momentum in consumer spending. That, that Again, we have seen incomes move up, we have seen confidence move up, and that should continue to support spending. In that environment, I think they continue to tilt towards tapering. Uh, a lot of the reason they put the QE into place at the start of this year was nerves about uh, federal se uh, budget sequestration and about the tax hikes that occurred at the start of the year. They didn't know what the effect of those would be. They've seen the effects now. The effects haven't been that great. It seems like the time for that emergency QE is over, uh, and I don't think that anything in this payroll report will, will move them away from that conclusion. So I think they will announce, we at UBS think that they will announce uh, tapering at the September meeting, the September FOMC meeting, and will begin tapering uh, in early October. That will give Mr. Bernanke time to explain any uh, confusion in the marketplace uh, about, the, about the tapering programs. It will give him some, some extra time to explain tapering if there is any market confusion before the tapering program actually begins.